Hey tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a variation of the Murdich Minnow. This was originally designed for fishing stripers in saltwater by an angler named Bill Murdich. It's become a go-to fly for warm water anglers targeting different species of bass, pike, walleye, uh, muskie, even trout and steelhead anglers have found a purpose for this fly. You can tie this in a number of different colors. Uh, we've got a pearl white version here today. You can easily take some Pantone markers and color this up to mimic prey species that you think uh, your target species will be after. So you can tie the pattern on different hooks depending on which uh, species you're after you can use uh, a bass stinger hook like we have here to tie a bass version or you can use something with a little bit more backbone to it uh, for targeting pike so let's have a look at the materials and get started Get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a Gamma Katsu um, DV314 hook. And it's kind of a bass stinger hook. So this is a pretty big fly. And uh, this is a size 2 hook that I'm using here. And I'm using a uh, UTC Ultra Thread 140 denier. And we'll just start off putting the thread on behind the hook eye and then wrapping to the back of the hook shank. And we'll just stop over the hook point here. So the first material we're going to use is a little bit of pearl flashaboo, or no, actually, even before that, we're going to use a little bit of bucktail. And I'm tying a white version of the fly, so we're just going to use some white bucktail. I right, just got a little bit of bucktail here. Just going to even up those tips just a little bit. Don't need to stack them or anything. And just a few less hairs in there. So I want this to be a fairly long tail. So I'm going to start about two times the length of the hook shank. And we'll tie that in along the top of the hook. So I'm tying on top of the hook shank any material, I just kind of hold it up and then add my thread wraps and let them pull that down. Alright, now we're going to tie on a little bit of pearl flashaboo, about 10 strands is probably good, somewhere around there, you don't have to count, but just approximately is, gives you a good night. Good idea. And so we're just going to measure those out a tiny bit past the bucktail. We're going to lay those right on top. Fold them back. Wrap those down right on top so that those 10 become 20. We'll just trim them off on an angle. Next we're going to add some silver flashaboo. Again, we're going to take about 10 strands or so, give or take. And we're going to tie those on top of the silver flashaboo that we just tied in. And maybe even just a touch longer than the 
and the Pearl Flashaboo. And I'm just going to leave that sitting forward. If you find it's getting a little bit in your way, you can kind of pull it back and trim it a little bit. So we're not going to need the full length. So next I'm going to take a little bit of ice dub, and this is the UV Pearl. I'm going to take a good sized pinch. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this out, kind of get all the fibers aligned. I'm going to bunch them in the middle. I'm going to tie those on in about, about the halfway point, kind of on the side of the hook into the bottom a little bit. Add a couple wraps. I'm going to flip the hook over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And so just kind of on the bottom, on the side, kind of leave a nice clear path on top for your flash. Now I'm going to pull all this stuff backwards, flash and the dub. I want the flash to stay on top and the dubbing just to fold back over itself along the sides and the bottom. Now on the original there was a, uh, a rattle tied into this as well. If you like you can definitely add that. I'm going to omit that today because I don't have any rattles. Next we're going to take in some UV ice chenille, or polar chenille I guess, sorry. And we'll just tie that in, leaving a little bit of room at the head. And then we're going to take some standard sized Estaz in pearl. And if you want you could use a different color here so that you're not white on white. You could use uh, a white with peacock or black or red. Give you some interesting results. So I'm going to tie that in on top of the hook shank here. And wind that to the eye. Next we'll just wind on this chenille. And we'll do fairly close turns. Doesn't have to be really really tight. And I just like to palmer my Estas as I go down the hook shank just pull all those fibers back kind of makes a bit of a denser body on your fly we'll wrap that off at the head I believe on the original they didn't have uh, a longer fiber on this I think they just kind of had that size of a body maybe a bit wider chenille. Now Estaz. Alright, now we're going to wrap our polar chenille. In here I just kind of wrap it in like a hackle, like on a woolly bugger. I'm just going to have to work it in there. Pull all those fibers back. And we'll tie that off right at the eye. Clean that up a little bit. If you like, you can uh, take a waterproof marker and uh, mark up this material here. I'm going to take um, some living eyes. These are the fish skull 
wind living eyes in seven millimeter. You got a nice 3D look to them and a little bit of uh, holographic behind them. One thing I like about these eyes is that they come on uh, clear backing and they're really easy to get off. A lot of the older eyes that you get, they were on a paper backing and you'd often get the paper coming off with the with the eyes, which turned into a headache. So I'm going to use a little bit of super glue just on the back of the eyes. So you just want to kind of clear a spot. I just kind of comb everything up and down when I'm putting the eyes on. We'll just press that in there. And then we'll get our other eye for the other side. I want to try and get that pretty close to the same spot. And just give it a little press. There we go. And we'll just add a whip finish to this. Like I said, you can add a little bit of color with a marker if you like, or you can just fish it as a pearl minnow. There you go. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and watching my fly tying videos. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get notified on the latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button and post a comment below. If you'd like to support the content on the channel and get rewarded, you can visit my Patreon page. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.